Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for Thursday, October 7th, 2021. I would like to give the biggest and happiest birthday to my little sister, Lily. She turns nine today. Um, oh, oh my gosh, she is just my biggest fan and my biggest supporter and she watches my videos so i hope she's watching this one today um because she literally just lights up my life and gives me ideas all the time on what to do for my channel and she does her own little videos and does makeup and i just can't wait to see what she does for with you know the which what she does in the world um but i love you babe i hope you have the greatest birthday and i will see you later alligator um, but let's get into the card today. Today we have the moon in reverse. So of course, high five y'all. Um, and let's talk about this because with the moon being in reverse, we are releasing our fears. So this conflict that Mercury retrograde is bringing up, this chaos, this uproar within ourselves, right? Because the whole deal about this Mercury retrograde is to take our internal vision. It's helping us to take our internal vision and have it match our external circumstances and our external you know, life, our environment, what we have going on. And by releasing our fears, releasing our doubts, and not allowing them to lead the way, and not allowing them to be in control, we really take back our life. And we are deciding what we want to do with it, right? And so that's amazing. As, as hard as it is and uncomfortable for these things to be brought up and kind of put in our faces, it's like we're staring at them today. And we don't even recognize those things anymore. We're like, ugh. Why? I don't need to hold on to that. I don't need to allow that to dictate what I'm doing. I'm not scared. I am the light. I shine the light on my darkness and I show myself where it needs to be healed and, you know, where we need to go next, right? Because we have the moon here. And when it's upright like this, it's kind of like looming over this scene. And we have like these two wolves and they're howling. And it's kind of dark outside. And there's this like, um, this lobster down here, it's just a scary scene, you know? You don't know where to go, the road looks bumpy, there's these two towers, so you're like, you know, what's gonna stop me? And it just looks scary. And we get stuck here sometimes when we don't know what to do or the road ahead looks long, but today we're not doing that, right? And look at that, look look how beautiful, like the cards have just played out this story this week when we started with, you know, feeling down and our grief and unsure of what we're doing and, you know, it really pushed us to, expand our mind, you know, change our perspective and really, you know, recenter our focus onto things that actually matter and the, the things that are actually working in our life and to, to stop looking at what we failed at and the mistakes that we've made and to focus on, you know, what we've learned and how we're going to grow forward and how we're going to, you know, have this, why well, we're going to make this circumstance work from us and the lesson we're going to get from it, right? And we did that. We decided I'm going to go after it, right? The fool on its journey. And we saw the Ace of Pentacles and that was kind of like our end goal. Um, and we're going towards that, right? And yesterday we moved through the Four of Wands, the happiest card of the deck. And we're just making our way along on this road. And today we come to the moon and we're not scared of the road ahead. Again, just like the, um, just like the fool's not scared, we again are, is this, this reminder that we trust ourselves, and we're not scared where we're going and we're not uncertain. We know where we're going and we're going to remind ourselves every step of the way, anytime something tries to get in the way of that, get in the way of our success, get in the way of our abundance, get in the way of our peace, get in the way of our creativity. Because today we have seven, seven being the mind and creativity. We're using our minds today to create the life that we want to live. And so the life that we want to live isn't filled with fear, isn't filled with anxiety, isn't filled with doubt. It's filled with love and satisfaction and gratitude for what you have going on. It's filled with creativity, creativity, you know, like, like I always say, in a way that creates, you know, creates and keeps building things that make you happy in your life. When that's aligned with your, with your authentic, uh, authentic nature and your, your true essence of who you are, you know? And so that's, it's, I hate to say that, it's amazing, but it's so amazing. And I think every, I don't know, these cards are actually, they not surprise, I shouldn't say they surprise me, but they just uh, grow my, um, they grow my trust in them every time, uh, you know, I pull them and we see how they kind of just play out because they really do, you know, help guide us forward, help guide us through these circumstances. And it, even like now during Mercury Retrograde, 
it's amazing to, you know, have this little support on the way through. Um, the moon is 16, 17, 18. One plus eight is nine. So 100%. Nine is spirituality and completion. It's the hermit in the tarot. So we are completing a cycle with this today, with this new mindset, this new perspective that we're not going to let these things keep us down. We're going to push through them. We're going to push through that uncomfortable feeling because we're stronger mentally, we're stronger creatively, and we know what we want and we're working through it because these are the things that held us back from what we're going towards. And the only way to get to it is to go through it. So that's what we're doing today. We're going through it. And so whatever that means to you, maybe we need to journal, maybe you need to cry and let it out and just release that energy. I'm a crier, I'm a Pisces. I gotta do it. I did it yesterday. In the shower, I was like, we just gotta get it out. And then it goes away and it feels better, right? And so allow yourself to do that. Even if you're, if you're a hermit, like the hermit in the tarot, and you gotta, you need to spend some time by yourself. You need to go by the water or take a walk. Um, during this time, it's very important to do these activities that are individual and just take the time necessary for you to move through it because if you're trying to move through it with other people, their thoughts, their opinions, their experiences, what they're moving through is gonna get in the way of yours. Um, so it's just gonna help things be less messy. It's okay to take this time to yourself today. Actually, take the time to yourself today. Make that very important, you know, to meditate, to journal, to do yoga, to go outside and exercise. Whatever it is that's gonna make you feel good in you and help calm these things do it. Take, you know, take the extra time, run the extra lap, whatever it is that finally settles it down inside of you. Because this is a big step. This is a big day. Um, we also have five of swords in reverse here at the bottom and the nine of cups. So we're releasing this manipulation, these ways that, you know, these things that used to hold us back, this deception, the illusion, the games that we play with ourselves and with other people that, that was keeping us from achieving our dreams. And then underneath that, we have wishes granted. We have everything coming to fruition and us sitting here, sitting in our end goal and our success and our abundance and feeling grateful. So that's where I'm going to leave it because that was great. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. Um, if you would like to know more about me and what I got going on, check out my website. The links are in the description below. I hope you guys have a happy Thursday. Love you.